That's a girl. Okay, well, today we're under a bit of pressure. I'm supposed to prepare a rock for my wife. I've only got the one, and so I can't mess it up. I showed etching it in an... <laughs> <laughs> okay, easy, easy. In an earlier video, I had showed finding and etching the rock. Etching being dissolving away the calcite with acid. And now it's time to do the final preparation. Join me. We'll look at a little bit of the earlier video and then we'll do some cutting and perhaps some polishing. So I think what I want to do on this bad boy is those are the best crystals but there are some up in here so I want to keep those. My thinking is to make a cut, a straight cut that keeps some of this thinner material and of course those crystals. So we're probably talking, I'm thinking right in there. I can see that. Let's give it a go. So I'm just going to eyeball the cut and run it through a tile saw. So there's what's left. Geez, very pretty up in there. And there is our sample. Gee, what a pretty rock. What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to polish the bottom. So we'll put it onto the flat lap and see whether or not we can make this side nice too. And this is my flat lap with a damp cloth in there. So we'll add some of the grit. Exact measurements. <laughs> Let's turn it on and let this puppy dance. Here we go. 
We'll see how it looks in an hour. Well, it's been about three hours, and I've peeked at it a few times, and I'll show you the problem. So it's dancing around nicely, and you can see that some of the material has worn off. But it's taking forever to get rid of the saw blade marks. See them there? The rock's heavy enough that I don't think I need to add weight. But that might be an option for tomorrow if I can't get rid of those. Otherwise, it's polishing nicely. Well, I'll show you a hack that I just discovered to get rid of the wheel marks. So it's very aggressive grinding. I put a piece of 100 grit sandpaper down. It just sticks like glue against the wet surface. And the rock is just climbing onto it and climbing off. It's not trying to crawl under. Oh, I think we can pull the sandpaper and let it start polishing. that fell off the pine tree. And we'll let it rock and roll. Okay, I think we're probably pretty good. Let's just rinse it off. Well that's looking much better. Now it's wet. So what we'll do is now we will stick this puppy into Alumina polish. So here we go. Clean rock. Clean flat lap. Add some alumina. There will be some polish actually still embedded in this felt pad. So that'll be good enough. Well, hopefully we're done. Let's rinse it off and see. I'm so happy with this. This is gorgeous. Mother Nature at its finest. Thank you. All right, show the bottom. That's where I spent a lot of time. Oh yeah. Is it silky it's smooth? It's just, oh, it's smooth as a baby's bottom. bottom. Excellent. It's gorgeous. I am impressed with your abilities to make something that is so um, ugly until it gets into something so pretty. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. I'm going to give it a nice spot, like somewhere on the shelf in my bedroom. Perfect. How about that? Thanks, my dear. I guess it was a job well done. Thank you for watching.